Seems like everyone is talking about artificial intelligence these days. Evernote jumped on the bandwagon with AI cleanup, and I've been using it ever since. I shared an introductory video when it was first released, and then I said I'd promise to get back with another video once I had a chance to use it for a while and share my experiences with you. I'm Dave Edwards. Today, my impressions of Evernote's AI cleanup feature. A quick reminder though, I teach an online on-demand course in Evernote for beginners. Now, if you aren't a beginner, it also shows you best practices for using Evernote. So whether you're brand new to Evernote or still trying to optimize it for your best use, I'd suggest you check out my class, Evernote for Beginners. Find out more at DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Just click on Courses. So when it was released, Evernote described the AI cleanup feature saying, you can quickly and easily tidy up messy scattered notes all without altering their original meaning or tone. No more sifting through disorganized notes to find the information you need. Save time and enhance productivity by streamlining your note-taking process. Well, let's see it in action. Now remember, in order for this uh, AI cleanup button uh, to be available to you, your note has to have more than 100 characters but no more than 6,000 characters. Uh, that's never been a problem for me, quite frankly. Uh, but let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's uh, uh, run AI cleanup on this uh, blog post that I had uh, on my web page. This was the, the draft that I had uh, created. And uh, so now let's run AI cleanup and see what happens. It takes a little bit here. It's cleaning, it's cleaning, it's cleaning. Ah, here we go. Uh, so now you, you notice here, this is a nice feature, that uh, uh, if, if I don't like the changes, I can hit the undo button and, and it, will, uh, it will go ahead and, and take me back to my original note. But now AI has had its hands on, uh, on this document and it hasn't made a lot of changes, uh, but I do notice that, uh, and this has been consistent, it, it likes the bold things. <laughs> it just, like for example, it randomly bolded uh, the first sentence of my note. Interesting. It also bolded the title of an article that I was referring to, and then a quote from the article, and then, um, now this is very interesting because it, it didn't clean up uh, a, a, a punctuation problem that I had. And, and I know in this version, uh, that's not a priority. It's supposed to just make your note look pretty, but I would have thought that it might have cleaned up this punctuation problem here. Uh, now, it looks like it also uh, italicized these uh these quotes or these statements that I made in the article. Interesting. Um, let's see what else it did here. Let's go down to this paragraph. Uh, I don't know why it capitalized this sentence or sentences. Uh, it just kind of, so in other words, here I made similar kinds of statements and then italicized them. And here I made similar kinds of statements and it bolded them. Hmm. Not sure why. Well, that was its take on, uh, on, on this article. The other thing, it didn't do this time, but it has, uh, has done this quite a bit for me. It would take something like these, these quick statements and it would uh, make bullets out of them. It didn't do that this time, but I also have noticed that in addition to bolding random things, uh, it, it likes bullets. Hmm. I've also noticed that if your note includes a table, uh, it'll remove the text from the table. And I, that frustrated me one time because I had uh, actually put a lot of effort into creating a table uh, for my note. And then when I did the cleanup, it removed the table altogether. Uh, this particular document went through the cleanup process rather, you know, rather quickly. Uh, but I have had notes that have taken more time. And it wasn't necessarily a really big note. So I don't know if it was just the uh, internet connection or what that might have been, or maybe there were a lot of people cleaning up notes all at the same time. I've also seen reports that some people have said that uh, the AI tool added text or 
took text away from a note. I have never seen that happen to anything with me, so I can't say that that's absolutely true. But I think it is a good thing that when you use the AI tool, uh, you uh, do com you read your note very carefully to make sure that it hasn't uh, changed uh, any meaning of what you had intended to say. So that's my take because my notes are pretty well organized when I take them. I don't find this feature as important to me as it might be to others. Uh, the feature is not clearly as advanced as uh, Chat GPT or Bing Chat, but I suspect over time it's going to do more. And of course, the AI cleanup feature is just one little small component of artificial intelligence. Right now, Evernote has a lot of stuff to fix, so I don't think upgrading AI should be their top priority. But I do think it's going to become more valuable and more useful to all of us. So what do you think about the AI tool? Have you been using it? Leave your comments below. I always enjoy reading them. And of course, we can also learn from each other. I'm Dave Edwards.